Hey everyone, I'm Lisa and today I am doing a 39 week pregnancy update. This is probably going to be my last pregnancy update for this particular pregnancy because hopefully I will be going into labor soon. I was meaning to do like a 36 week update and then I was going to update you guys again with a 39 or 40 week but time has flown by so fast and I didn't get a chance to do a vlog then so we're doing one now. So at 39 weeks the baby is considered full term so um, they are completely healthy and good to go as far as uh, delivery and everything actually at 37 weeks you can deliver and have a completely healthy baby but 39 weeks is when they're considered full term however uh, your due date is not until the 40 week mark so my due date is July 21st coming up um, less than a week away I am so so ready for him to be born one, just to have him, Rylan and I are both just so anxious for him to be here, to come and like just to hold him in our arms and to start being parents and everything. But also I have just been so uncomfortable lately. I'm just like ready for him to come out. <laughs> My biggest symptoms are one, I am exhausted all the time. It's kind of like the first trimester, but now it's even worse I would say than the first trimester as far as being tired. I need to take naps. I need to drink things to give me energy if I need to stay up and work on stuff. Um, it's really hard for me to be motivated. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, but I'm just so tired all the time. And I know once he gets here we're going to be like extremely tired. Everybody says get your sleep now and you know all that stuff. But I would rather be tired from taking care of my baby and staying up with him than just being tired because I'm pregnant and because of the hormones and everything. So I, I don't know if that makes sense, but to me, that's how I see it. And I'm just ready to, to be done and to have him here. <laughs> Another symptom is my feet and ankles have been swelling. It's a normal pregnancy symptom. My midwife was just saying to make sure I'm getting plenty of water, which I always have my tumbler cup, it's up there on the dresser right now, um, that I'm drinking water out of. So I get plenty of water. And then um, another thing she was saying was to take Epsom salt baths. So I have been doing that. I love taking baths, they're so relaxing. And I highly recommend it if you're a bath person and you're in the last part of your pregnancy. Baths are so soothing, like when you just feel uncomfortable or you feel kind of like agitated or anything, take a bath, it just feels so nice. <laughs> I like putting the Epsom salts in there and some lavender essential oil. This has been a must have for me, but that does work really well at kind of calming um, my feet and everything and my ankles and just helping them to relax and kind of have them up for a little bit laying down and taking naps helps with that as well and then she also brought up electrolytes my husband who is like i practically consider him a nutritionist he's not like an actual nutritionist but he just he knows all the healthy stuff and everything <laughs> and he buys this Ultima Replenisher Electrolyte Powder. He already buys this for himself and everything so he recommended that I start having a glass of this a day and my midwife approved it and everything and these taste so good. This one's cherry pomegranate. I love the flavor. They're healthy and all natural and it just kind of actually helps with your energy levels um, but I also have noticed since I've been taking a glass of this a day, my swelling has gone down a ton. So I definitely recommend that for any of you mamas that are dealing with swelling in your feet and ankles. Plus electrolytes are just really good for you. I'm gonna bring this to the birth center with me um, in case I need like a little boost of energy. This is something if I feel up to taking a glass of it, I can. Um, and I think that'll be really helpful during labor and delivery. Another symptom is just kind of like pelvic um, uncomfortable pressure-ness. I don't even know what I'm saying. Basically, baby boy has dropped quite a bit, which is a good thing. He's head down, according to my midwife and everything. I, and I can tell, like you can like feel his little bum like right here and his head's like all the way down. So. Um, that's a good sign for labor, but it definitely does cause some discomfort at times. It also means I have to pee like 
every 15 minutes no okay not that much but I, I literally have to go pee all the time it's crazy my least favorite symptom that I've been having is like all like the hormones and stuff have made me super super emotional uh, I'm normally somewhat of an emotional person but it's been like craziness lately my emotions <laughs> hormones mixed with the tiredness mixed with like some other feelings of like I've been kind of missing my family a lot lately I think just with being pregnant and getting ready to have our baby uh, knowing that we live kind of far from them from my parents and my brother and everything just missing them and then some other stuff that's been going on it's uh, man like the hormones elevate everything and it just sometimes make me feel sad to be honest and I just kind of feel unmotivated also mixed with feeling kind of anxious just because I am so ready for him to be here I know that he still couldn't possibly not be here for another few weeks um, but not knowing like okay is it is, am I gonna go into labor today or is it gonna be two weeks from now and kind of feeling like my life is like in this little waiting stage and is on hold until he gets here I don't know if that makes any sense but all of that mixed with the hormones kind of elevating everything it has taken a toll on me emotionally <laughs> I don't know if I've really heard anyone talk about that in their pregnancy vlog, so I don't know if that's something a lot of women go through or not, but that is something I've been dealing with, and it has been kind of difficult, to be honest. The biggest things that have that helped me with that, though, is listening to worship music, reading my Bible, um, talking to my husband. I, I've just been trying to be completely honest with him about my feelings, and he's been so supportive, and he understands, like, as much as he can with, like, my hormones and everything, and, and he's just been super encouraging and sweet through this time. Also looking forward to when baby comes, my parents are going to be coming down right away, so I'm really looking forward to that time that we're all going to get together. Uh, it's going to be Bri, me, our new baby, my parents, his dad lives with us and his brother lives with us too right now so it's just going to be kind of like this family thing with like our our newborn and for some people that might stress them out I'm actually really looking forward to it though and it's going to be awesome having my mom's help for those first few days um just with the baby and around the house and everything I've also have just like been I feel like God's been trying to slow me down a lot and it's like my life has really slowed down more frequently and so God's just like kind of preparing me for this new season of motherhood that's coming and everything so just trying to take each day at a time and I've also been trying to not be anxious about waiting for him I feel like my stomach has definitely gotten big I feel huge to be honest but one thing that's awesome is I still have not gotten any stretch marks at all and I was asking my midwife because everybody says stretch marks are genetic or hereditary or whatever and she said that's actually not completely true so that was kind of interesting and I'm super happy that I haven't gotten stretch marks I do have the little the line that goes like from your belly button down if that makes sense but I hear a lot of people say that ends up fading after you give birth at some point um, either way though I don't care but all I've been using is um, lotion uh, and a cure lotion that I used at the beginning of my pregnancy and then I started just using jojoba oil and more recently I've been using almond oil so basically just any like carrier based type skin oil like jojoba almond coconut or whatever um, that's all I've been using on my belly and it seems to work really well. I've talked about this book before, um, The Mama Natural or Week by Week Guide to Pregnancy and Childbirth by Genevieve, who's a YouTuber as well. Um, but this book has just come in so handy throughout this whole pregnancy and I've finished it recently. Um, and it, it's just been really awesome, the information in here. You guys know I'm M. You guys know I am into more natural stuff and all that, so <laughs> this has just been like a really helpful tool. Even if you're not into natural stuff, there's a lot of good information in here. Another little essential that I've been loving are these Sanook sandals. It's so hot here, so I do not feel like wearing tennis shoes or anything like that that's like closed-toed. 
and these shoes are so comfortable i needed to get some new sandals that were going to be more comfortable for pregnancy um, that had more cushion to them because none of my shoes felt comfortable my feet would swell in them and they would be too big but these they're actually made out of recycled yoga mats i believe and they're so soft they feel so good and you can walk in them for hours and feel amazing and then this part is just kind of like a stretchy cloth type material so it's really comfortable to wear i just got the charcoal gray ones because they were on sale so they were a really good deal and they go with everything but they have all different colors in these and different styles updates that you may have missed i had my second baby shower which was really cool um, I have a vlog for that and as you can see behind us, Brylin and I uh, did his little nursery area and everything and we have that all set up. So we also have a video with the tour and I do have a video coming with all his organization that I did like in his dresser and we have stuff in our closet too. So I'm going to be putting that up soon as well as how we made over this crib that we got from OfferUp. Since 36 weeks, I've been seeing my midwife every week now, so it's gone to a weekly basis. And um, I don't know if I'm dilated yet or anything as far as my cervix goes and all that, but at this week's appointment, this week's coming appointment, um, they will offer to check if I want them to. So I don't know if I'm going to or not. I'll see how I feel then I guess <laughs> as long as baby boy doesn't come before then because you never know <laughs> you guys know if you've watched our other updates that I am planning on doing a drug-free natural birth and everything um, but I don't think I was decided on like the method or whatever of birth that we were gonna do um, I'm actually gonna be doing a water birth that's what we're planning on there's a tub at the birth center that uh, we go to so I'm really excited to use that I think baths I was saying earlier are like the most relaxing thing ever <laughs> and I feel like it just helps relieve pain and discomfort so I figured why not give birth in the tub <laughs> we are planning to vlog that whole experience too Brylin's kind of in charge of that so we'll see how much footage we get I think it just depends on when it happens and you know how crazy things are and everything I don't I don't know what it's gonna be like because this is my first time giving birth but um, we are gonna try to capture as much footage as we can to share on the channel as far as being ready for when that time comes when I go into labor uh, we have his car seat all set in our car and everything so that's good to go I have a diaper bag packed with all his stuff that we're gonna need at the birth center and then I also have a duffel bag packed with most of my stuff there's still stuff i need to add in there um and i was thinking about vlogging that and kind of showing you guys like what everything that i packed and everything so let me know if you want to see that or not but thank you guys so much just for being on this journey with us you guys know that it has been a little rough from our two miscarriages and then this pregnancy has just been so blessed honestly i feel so thankful um, even with the first trimester, my morning sickness was pretty bad. And then lately, uh, the tiredness and the hormones and emotions, like I was talking about, it, it has been rough, but literally I've just been so healthy this whole pregnancy and everything has gone so smoothly. Just God has really blessed us throughout this entire journey and we oh gosh like i just cannot wait to have him here i can't believe that we're gonna have our son in our arms like any day now it's so crazy to think about as far as when i do go into labor uh, i've had a lot of people already ask me have you had him yet is he born obviously he's not born yet but <laughs> brylin and i will be posting a baby q a video we asked you guys for questions um, for that video so that video will go up when I am actually like going to the birth center and labor so you guys know and you guys can be praying for us and everything and I'll probably or Bri might post something on Instagram or something to let you guys know so make sure you're subscribed to our channel and that you have the notifications turned on it's just that little bell that you hit that way you'll be notified when that video goes up and you know when we're actually going into labor and everything I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this vlog. I 
hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. But thank you guys so much for watching my pregnancy vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in our next video. Bye!